Ah, London. What a town. History around every corner and a tourist photographing it. Pubs serving up a pint and a smile. All that music, theatre and art. And multiculturalism. And the world oldest underground, the Tube. The class of cities, really. Top shelf stuff. Only took 12,000 years to build it up. And one night to tear it all down. Status. Perimeter security's down, but plenty of your flying friends about. Fucking hell. Dalton, no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. I'm in. Any idea what we're up against, Bailey? If you haven't rushed off, I might. Ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities? That's rich, Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. We'll have to sort this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. you more than it hurt me. Do us a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. How's that? of dead set gear down here. And why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like dead set was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. Who are these men in black anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. Oh, fuck me. The entire place is rigged to blow. Jesus, those canisters. Bagley, is that... RDX nitrogen. Enough to level Parliament. Can you locate a detonator, Bagley? Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above you. Yeah, that fits the bill. On my way. Bagley, is that not the detonator? No, but it's a transmitter sending a signal to a device on the floor above us. Safe to assume that would be the detonator we're looking for. Fire! 
staged dead set propaganda all around the bombs. These pricks are going to blow up Parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first. these men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the centre of government. On the detonator. And it's definitely live. Bagley, I'm gonna need some help with this. Yes, you are, but sadly, I'm locked out. Fuck. Well, we don't have a chance without Bagley. Wait, Wait. I might know a workaround. We trained in manual overrides at MI5. If you're full of surprises. Be quick about it. All right, Bagley, do your thing. I'm in. And the bombs have just armed themselves. Well, that may complicate matters. For fuck's sake. Can you defuse them or not? Of course I can. But I might also trip another failsafe and vaporize it. So, fair warning. I expect this to draw some attention your way, Dalton. Oh, I'm counting on it. Company at our back door. Shit. Dalton, we've got some heat here at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. It's about to get real. Fuck. They're on me. I'll try and hold them off. I'm sure they're still in the area. I know it! Bagley, what day? Let's just say I'm both impressed and annoyed by how sophisticated this anti tamper security is. Still working. Bagley, tell me you're close. I'm through security, now wading through terabytes of decoy code looking for the detonation sequence. What are you doing here? I'm getting shot! Dalton, I need your physical appendages now. What's wrong? There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. You need to pull the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm fucking not. Pull the wire. If this gets me blown up... Bombs diffused. See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Bagley, you bastard. You're gonna give me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bagley. Fucking hell, we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. But my sister's at the town conference. We have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can reach it, I can shut it all down. So 
Sabine! Fuck! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof! Sabine, what's going on? We're being raided. It's a bloodbath. Her protocol is to wipe everything, including Bagley. I need him for the transmitter. I know, but if they get him, they get everything. Names, ops, locations. Okay, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wipe him. Yes, wipe me. Do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. Fuck. Okay, Bagley's down. You're on your own. Dalton, if this goes... It won't. I'll see you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck. with some important work. Important work? Killing thousands of... Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plague, the Great Fire, the Blitz. It's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. Oh my god. Moments ago, a series of explosions devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser focused. They attend Dowling Street where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down dead set. The terrorist group responses failed force. Albion used cutting-edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of DedSec. A stark warning to would-be insurgents. Some 
corporations are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. It's a long overdue cleanup as crime numbers take a dive. Illegal gambling, drug trafficking, and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates. The streets of Camden and Brixton. Date is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs thanks to the deployment. Big news outlets, reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated, possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few public about the circulation of fake news, conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group DeadSec were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts simply do not support any other story. I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up dead sick and thrown them in jail. Now, I say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at town! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than dead sick ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board.
<laughs> I love it! to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. Fine. This is London Core. You're listening to me, Tash, and Buccaneer. Your source for what they don't want you to know. This time we're turning our focus back on the media to look at my former employer, the GDP. Today, the GBB is a shadow of its former self. It's become a tool used by the government to circulate fake news and misinformation. So how did we get here? Where did it all go wrong? How can we tell when our national media has become state propaganda? Our experts speak the conditions of anonymity for their own safety. Here's disinformation and media expert Charles. We've seen free broadcasters built up by journalists and torn down by Democrats all over the world. So before the media fragment, there was this voice of authority that was trusted and, and, and worthy of trust. Then what we ended up with is a really commercial model where, whether you're talking about... I've downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. Smart move having redundant systems like that. Can't trust anyone, right? This is what you wanted, mate. Get to it! Sabine! Right, where's the fucking light switch? Registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exit, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. Whoa. Whoa. It's all right. I'm supposed to be here. Uh, authorization code Sabine sent me? Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DedSet network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. I'm reconnected to the network, downloading our database, news archives, and... Oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DedSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton Wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. Sounds like a proper conspiracy, Bagley. Who was really behind the bombings then? 
There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DeadSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Fuck, that's mental. You were lucky to get out alive. I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition here would have you hunted down and shot on sight. <sighs> yeah. About that. I'm guessing that if I join up, that kind of attention extends to me, right? Christ, Sabine, it's fucking risky. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DeadSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? I'll say I'm here. So what the hell? Let's get to it. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DeadSec. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential. Items in your dead set kit. and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up DeadSec and thrown him in jail. Now, I say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at town! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than DedSec ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think, if anything, dead sex showed their true colours. It's terrifying to think we harboured such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find dead sex more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next, I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombings? Oh, trust me, Claire.
we have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to stop flinching when someone cocks a punch at you. I'll be right down. Could use the warm up. Let's start with some basic strikes. <laughs> Hit me. Don't be shy. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak points. You're getting it. Just like that. <laughs> Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Just like that. Oh. Yes, nice one. Only one more skill you need to master, socialization. The rest of your team has arrived. Why not go and have a chat? Welcome to the team. I'm happy to be here. Now, let's get to it. All right. So we're dead sec now, just like that. Do we get like a training or anything? I'd settle for a pamphlet. Did you get a pamphlet? Learning on the job's the way to go. Now that you're all as thick as cyber thieves, Sabine would like to talk to you. First order of business. The Signals Intelligence Response Service, or SIRS, or the Earl Grey Gestapo, have developed a surveillance technology called AR Reconstruction. It's the leading edge of privacy rights violation, and thus it could be very useful in our attempts to find Zero Day. some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent DedSec now. This information, that's fake news. And again, we 
gun in this situation. The unit, it's it's possible suspects or suspects reporting me on location. Receive, but engage if necessary. It's very hard to get your message to cut through all of the noise of all of the disinformation that's there. So, like, you know, you remember out on the edges, there was this story about when they were the house. No visual of the suspect. They would any information. The target just went through a checkpoint. And Over. A great, fantastic viral story. How do you deal with that story? With the truth, the only way you can counter it is by saying, no, they don't. And of course, no one wants to spread that story. No one wants to hear that story. They want to hear the sensationalism. They want to hear how people were victims of violence when in fact they weren't. Or they were victims of insurgent forces. The media has, of course, been perhaps the key way in which governments have controlled and influenced their population. So, totalitarian countries Received. have returning to HQ over mainstream media outlets to sell one kind of news, one kind of biased news to its population. Of course, the media has always played this kind of key role in, in methods of state control. Um, I think what's happening now is perhaps even more concerning than where uh, you previously been pre-crisis Britain, we had perhaps more diverse voices in the media, but now with the GBB, uh, you're really only seeing one brand of, of news and therefore only getting one truth. So people end up with a, a very biased and controlled idea of the reality and, and the world that we're actually living in. It was, of course, many concerns and many problems, but in a way there were some positive things that, like, not all information was coming from one place. And, and so you, you'd have kind of far-right media outlets developing and then left-wing media outlets developing to combat those and, and kind of challenge the, the mainstream newspapers, TV stations, radios, and make sure people were, were questioning their... their the validity and, and truth of the information they were receiving. So while the digital afforded more, more fake information, it also makes us suspicious and skeptical of information and makes us question the information we're getting. And I think in three crisis Britain, it might not have seemed great at the time, but there was something positive about that, that there was a lot of distrust in the media and, and, and in the truth of being told. Whereas now, I think you're seeing a, a return to a more a more traditional and older tree digital sense. Actually, people just trusting what they're told, and, and that's why we we have to uh, we have to be here with radio stations like this to challenge those conceptions. Most citizens feel pretty hopeless, I think, and unable to, to fight back against these kind of huge mainstream corporations that simply entrench and support the, the ideals and ideologies of the state. It can it can seem very hopeless indeed, but I think you know the fact that you're you're out there listening, we're in here talking, shows that there is still a space to combat these false truths and disinformation that's being sold to us, and and that there's it's never possible really to completely shut down despite all the technologies that they have at their disposal and all the financial and corporate power and all the, the physical things, that it's never quite possible to shut down people's uh, desire to get to the truth and, and fight for their own ideologies and values. And, and you know, we're, we're out here starting that task, so don't give up hope. This is an old You've been listening.